How many times have you passed a person on the street who that is struggling in their life just to make ends meet? They are calling out to you and asking dearly for help, but your door is closed. You will not listen to their cries, you just keep on walking down to your destination without thinking what will happen to that person. Did they have a family, or were they just another beggar with no life? Will they die of malnutri malnutrition and diarrhea, or will they meet a person who is willing to help? Two people die each second. Will that person you just passed be next? I once saw a man that was crippled, barely able to lift his weight. I thought about the situation that he was in, but did I help him? No. Later during that day, when I went back to see him, he was no longer there. Some men in the ambulance had gotten out, put him on a stretcher. What had happened? I will never know. One thing I do know is that if we do not open our heart to the people of this world, will somebody open their heart to us? Will somebody care about us when we are in dire circumstances? Or will they just continue to walk the other way, continuing to live their lives while the other person is dying? When my family and I were traveling in a village up in Maimansingh, Bangladesh, our car had broken down. My parents did not know what to do. We were all stressed out. With the blazing heat steaming on our backs, it was clear to us that somebody would have to help us. We tried calling our friends, but there was no phone reception. We tried asking for help to other people traveling on the road, but they kept on driving. Then an elderly man had compassion on us. He came to us and invited my family and me to have tea at their house. His family was very humble. All they had in their house were mats to sit on. They had no other furniture, but they still invited us for tea. A man not knowing who we were had invited us for tea. That is the compassion I would like to have. Just like that elderly man had compassion upon us, we should have compassion upon other people in need. You don't have to give big things to people in need, such as a house, but just give them what they need. One small thing to them means a whole world of a difference. When I pass by people in need, I give them some money and ask them how they are, and I pray for them. <laughs>